Zibalba? Yes, Zibalba. Okay. This is Militant for the PS4. It's also a uh, cross by with the Vita. And here's Exposition. Enjoy. The are in permanent dispute. Who commands this precious element will control the rest. Among the most powerful, tensions run high. The ants, with an experienced and well trained army, and the termites, whose principal strength abides in their great number of soldiers. Outside of this conflict, civil war consumes the empire of the wasps, a revolution fomented by the termites and condemned by the kingdom of the ants. It's merely a matter of time before the scorpions, experts in arms manufacture, and the beetles, criticized for being mere peons of the termite empire, Take part in these events that will put to test the strength and ability of the nations. A war that all seek. A war that all are anxious to begin. If your skeleton is on your outside, even exoskeleton, I'm not sure what a leaf would really do for you in terms of protection. Anyway, uh, this is Militant uh, from the PS4. I think I stated already. Controls are fairly simple. Um, you move left and right. Uh, the locking on thing is that, yeah, that doesn't really work that well. And because you kind of have like four arms, you can just hit the triangle button to switch between one set of weapons and the other. When one overheats, you switch, you're ready to go. You have unlimited ammo, but. You're pretty much ready to go as long as uh, you have a cooldown. And the circle is a melee attack. Now, one of the things I, well, one of the few things I did like about this game uh, was deflecting the bullets. That seemed to be a pretty cool mechanic. Just tapping the the circle button either hits uh, somebody right in front of you or sends their bullets right back towards them. That really works well. I thought. I mean, you can press it pretty rapidly and deflect. As long as you get your timing right, you're good to go. Long distance, whatever. We just, just get it there. See, right, right there. So if you keep suffering, um, if you keep playing, um, you'll eventually come up to a boss with an incredibly long life meter, health meter, whatever. Um, that depletes very slowly. And um, if you take your time, and I mean a lot of time, you'll eventually whittle it down. I mean a lot of time. And even though you're in the first stage, you'll really be hoping that that's the end of the game. But it's not. I mean, you almost are envious of the roach tank because the wall crumbles and you eventually have more things to fight. And you eventually make your way to another boss. You will be thankful that there's a checkpoint actually on the screen with the boss. That will be one of the, the few good things that you have to say. And after a long time and several deaths, including one where you may, may have had one more hit on the boss to kill it, yeah. You eventually blow it up. The Hercules Beetle. And you'll get a bunch of points that... Whatever. And you earn gems based on how many enemies you defeat. The time it took you to complete it. How many deaths. So I only got two gems. So what I did was... You got to the screen where you get to buy new weapons. And one of the nice things is... I put a better weapon in each set, so whenever I switch, I do have a superior weapon to the one that I started with. And then you move on to the second level, which is complete and utter chaos. There's just so much stuff going on. I, uh, I'll i be honest, it was at this point that I realized that, well, it was at this point that I finally told myself, you're not having fun with this, and you don't want to play this anymore. So. This is pretty much where I stopped playing the game. Uh, I do realize that I'm sure there's much more of that game to be played. I don't think I'll ever see it. Uh, Militant is not 
by any stretch of the imagination, the worst game I've ever played. It does load. I mean, it executes. It can you can quit back to the home screen. I have not tried the Vita version, but I don't find it fun. I did not enjoy my time with that game really at all. I like what they tried to do. I like that they did a good voiceovers and this exposition. It's just not fun to me. And yes, I did give up on the second level. I'm being as honest as I can. I did not put in as much time as I would have liked. I didn't want to play that game anymore. I, 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 I tapped out. The second level, there's too much going on. It's frustrating. There's a section where you just fall repeatedly when the floor crumbles beneath you with no warning whatsoever. No. No. Anyway, feel free to like, subscribe, click on these videos, check out some more videos. That, yeah, videos, check out more videos. Yeah, just, just, just do it.